This is a special Tropical Storm Ernesto update on this early Sunday, August 5th, 2012. Beginning with the latest Hurricane Center track forecast, they are taking the center of Ernesto well to the south of Jamaica, but Tropical Storm Force winds are still possible along the island, so warnings are still in effect. And based on the latest model guidance, there is almost unanimous agreement now that a landfall will occur somewhere along the eastern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. However, interest even across Belize and the northern coast of Honduras should be paying close attention to the storm as the guidance is starting to trend closer to those locations and tropical storm watches and warnings will likely have to go into effect. This is a quick look at the tropical model suite and several model members are still pointing toward the central and western Gulf of Mexico but the overall trend among some of the more reliable models is for a nearly due west or slightly north of due west track into Belize or the remainder of the southern half of the Yucatan Peninsula followed by a track taking it into the Bay of Campeche or southwest Gulf and potentially a second landfall thereafter along mainland Mexico to the south of Texas. Ernesto continues to give forecasters false impressions on satellite imagery because as one would think this storm looks fairly healthy However, the latest reconnaissance data from the hurricane hunters is revealing that the storm's circulation near the surface where it counts is very ill-defined and the pressure is continuing to rise and the ongoing problem is that the mid-level circulation and the surface circulation of Ernesto are not vertically stacked and without those circulations being vertically stacked this storm is not going to strengthen whatsoever and the main problem behind this lack of organization is simply the storm is moving just too fast for it to really get its act together. It has been moving well in excess of 20 miles per hour at times. Now the forecast model guidance is showing that Ernesto will begin to slow down as the western periphery of the subtropical Atlantic Ridge begins to break down. So the storm will begin to slow as it approaches the Yucatan and even if Ernesto were to temporarily weaken down to a tropical depression or tropical wave we still anticipate some strengthening here shortly before landfall, so therefore a mid to upper end tropical storm and possibly even a minimal hurricane is still possible here along the coast of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula and that is what interest in those locations should be bracing for. And finally since this storm is looking like it's going to remain weak for at least the next several days, it is looking increasingly likely that it will continue on a general west to west-northwest heading into the extreme southern Gulf of Mexico or Bay of Campeche. It's just going to be too weak to feel the impacts of any troughs over the United States central Gulf Coast. The latest GFS model forecast is not showing much in the way of strengthening before arriving into the Yucatan Peninsula, but you can see the storm crossing into the southern Gulf of Mexico or Bay of Campeche before moving into mainland Mexico. And as a side note, it's also beginning to increase the amount of activity off the coast of Africa by day 6 and 7. Up next is the Canadian CMC model forecast and the CMC is no longer showing much in the way of development until the storm moves into the western Gulf of Mexico and this is still something that we will have to monitor as this is still an extended 6 day forecast but the CMC is showing strengthening before a second landfall is to occur just to the south of Brownsville, Texas. Finally, this is the latest 0Z run from the ECMWF model, and the ECMWF is not forecasting much strengthening over the next 48 hours. In fact, by Monday night, it has nothing more than just a broad low just to the northeast of Honduras. And as we go into Wednesday morning, or Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, we finally begin to see a little bit of strengthening shortly before landfall here along the eastern coast of the Yucatan. But keep in mind, this is still nothing more than a tropical storm and we still have at least some ridging out here across the central and eastern gulf so both of these things combined is going to really limit the potential of Ernesto moving toward the north instead it's more likely to continue moving west northwestward and by day five or Thursday night into Friday morning the storm is beginning to intensify in the Bay of Campeche so this is still going to be something to monitor as this is a five to six day forecast and some of the models are still showing some hefty strengthening once just to the east of Tampico. Finally by Saturday evening in roughly one week from now the storm has fully pushed inland and has since dissipated. So within the next five to seven days Ernesto is likely to be located somewhere out across the southwest Gulf of Mexico 
and the trend over the past 24 to 36 hours has been for less of a threat toward the United States Gulf Coast, but interests in the western Gulf of Mexico are still advised to keep up with Ernesto's progress over the next several days, and we will be continuing to monitor the storm's progress here at 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app.